Right guys, new shoe time again, unboxing of the Nike Trail 3s. In uh, the burnt orange color. I'm not sure how it'll look on the uh, camera, but they are a mad looking shoe. Uh, there's a couple of different colours, there's a green, um, a black, a uh, the burnt orange uh, and, and also a kind of grey colour uh, but if you look at the the shoe, mad, mad colours, won't get lost up in the bush. First impressions uh, of this, they feel, um, feel really, really solid. If you look across the top here, uh, the mesh on top, nice and breathable. Um, little uh, grip kind of areas around the toe. Um, you see the, um, the sole extends up here into the, the front of the toe. A bit of protection, a bit of rock protection there, which is always good. Um, looking at the, uh, the kind of guidelines online, which I'll add in the description, um, the updates that I've done between the two and the three, essentially, bit more um, you know, in a meshed kind of top uh, towards the heel. Um, we've got a, a nice loop there now, you know, pulling it on and off, it's, that's great. Uh, probably the big ticket item, I think, is the, um, is the kind of, um, they call it the, the banding kind of comfort band system um, that's in the middle here, uh, which essentially is designed to um, tighten the midfoot um, give you a bit more stability, a um, bit less kind of movement in the midfoot. Uh, you can see by these four bands, uh, which which really pull pull in. You can see the other two lace holes as just standard small lace holes, but um, we should be able to get some uh, quite a bit of adjustment uh, with this one. Uh, foam wise, um, it's React foam throughout, uh, pretty much similar to the pegs, the peg uh, range of shoe. So essentially, it's a Pegasus uh, body. Um, with the trail upper, mid, and uh, and base. Um, so it's a, the comfort and longevity of a Pegasus running shoe uh, made for trails. So you can see it's an, a generous kind of react uh, foam throughout. Nice kind of, you know, greeny insert there. If we roll over to the um, to the tread pattern, uh, you can see it's, it's quite an aggressive um, tread pattern kind of mimics a mountain bike tire apparently according to the Nike website um, but I think this shoe will be um, a great commuter and mileage shoe uh, well I'm hoping it is anyway um, I just or I'll put a link up to the Terra Kyga 7 that I did a few months ago uh, that's a fast trail shoe this will be a mileage commuter trail shoe that'll take a little bit of tar I would assume looking at the tread pattern and the compound um, and probably a good thing which happens on a lot of good trail shoes now you've got kind of the, at the rear at the heel of the shoe you've got pretty aggressive kind of grip and also at the front so kind of the uphill downhill sections you've got quite a, a fair bit of um, extra extra traction there with a little less roll at least that's what the Nike website claims uh, but we'll put it to the test uh, as we would always normally do. Hey guys, uh, stunning uh, Blue Gum Hills this morning, ready uh, to go and give the old Trail 3s a first impression look out on the uh, the tracks, the testing ground of Blue Gum Hills. 
as you can see they're on they're uh they're nice and bright they're on feeling here they're really comfortable at the moment um they just feel feel great um really nice feel like a uh, old pair of slippers so um i can only imagine that um out on the trail they're going to be good i'll talk a bit more about it later but at the moment they're uh they're feeling nice and firm around the midfoot uh the sole's feeling really good really nice on the heel cup so uh let's Yeah, good everyone. Uh, out in the testing ground, about 2.6 k's in uh, to the little uh, single track loop I've got uh, out here. I'll swing it around so you can see. Starts at the uh, coffee cup, which you may have seen in the uh, Mad Dog video. Comes uh, blasting down the hill here. Nice little loop around, which you'll see in the video. Comes back uphill and continues uh, towards uh, the ridge line up there. Uh, comes back out at the start, so it's a it's a couple of k uh, loop so 2.6 k's in uh, the shoes uh, let's just have a look at them so quite dusty in this um, in this kind of loop but as you can see um, no real issues he likes the uh, the rear view there looking at it underneath uh, you can see that um, yeah it's it's fairly well um, Still fairly clean, it's quite a dusty um, track when it's dry uh, and there's no, no problems at all so far. The shoes themselves, um, they feel bulk comfortable, they're like uh, really cushioned. Uh, there's some rutted areas here, um, quite rocky, quite sharp um, in areas. Can't feel it, no penetration through the bottom of the, the sole. Um, so that kind of really aggressive um, compound they've got on the bottom uh, has really good protection uh, from rocks and kind of debris and, um, quite undulating terrain there's a fair bit of washout uh, deep ruts from motorcyclists um, no issues at all 
they're, they're very similar to the Terracigas as far as grip, even though the Terracigas is probably a bit more aggressive. Uh, however, these these things are super cushioned, just like wearing pegs, uh, you know, on the trails uh, with that added confidence of having um, having that really really good traction. So. So far, you know, two 2.6 k's in, uh, hitting it pretty hard around some of this this stuff, and uh, loving the way they feel at the moment. So we'll uh, we'll continue the run and uh, go to some more open terrain and see how they feel uh, on the fast stuff. So running on the um, relative flat now. That's bit four. 0.1 k's in, trying down the ridge to Bligum Park Run. A little bit rocky, a little bit gnarly. Certain areas, as you can see behind, super comfortable in the pegs, or trail threes, as I should say. Um, no problems, really stable footing in this kind of open stuff. And I know we'd open up a bit more speed. Um, we'll go along this bottom track uh, shortly and open it up a little bit. Uh, but needless to say, like the rest, really sure on my foot and uh, a nice ride. Let's go down the Heritage Walking Trail. Seeing around 420s, nice and stable, nice and cushiony at the moment. Nice feel. Super comfortable. As you can see there, it's uh, 5Ks, uh, 30, 30 minutes, 53. Uh, roughly 6, uh, 11 through the, uh, the gnarly kind of uh, testing grounds uh, of Blue Gum Hills. What do I think? Uh, first impression, the shoe uh, is, is great. Yeah, second uh, car cushion trail shoe that I've owned, uh, other than the Hoka, obviously, first. Uh, Terra Cog is more of a race shoe, um, so that's it in a different kind of league, faster and lighter. However, the uh, the Trail 3s, thumbs up, great on the tight technical stuff, great, um, you know, uh, underfoot kind of sole protection from rocks and sticks and, uh, and the sharp stuff. Uh, nice and cushioned, uh, nice on the fast stuff, you know, we hit around 420s, which is fairly quick, you know, for the smooth stuff, and that was a slight downhill rutted out kind of a rocky segment. Um, the flat stuff along the bottom, uh, nice and cushioned, cruisy. Overall, as a first impression, this shoe will be a, an outstanding um, mileage shoe. So uh, thanks for coming along, thanks for... Uh, if you like what you see, uh, support the channel, yeah, please uh, subscribe and hit that like button, it'll help me out. Help uh, you know, do what I want to do with this channel, is essentially uh, promote Newcastle and the runners uh, in Newcastle. Try and get it out there and uh, there's a lot of guys that are fantastic runners that I want to see promoted and come and join the, the journey of running with me. Awesome, thanks guys for watching and I'll uh, catch you next time.